Good morning, everyone. Day three, we're packing up, getting ready to get out of here. It's going on 10 o'clock. We got to be out at 11, so pretty much all we got to do is put our things in the truck and we're good to go. Monkey's got a plan, so this should be good. Be <laughs> this should be good fun. <laughs> Stick around, guys. Let's see what she's got planned. So we're heading to a place called John's Pass or something, something like that. It's about 20 minutes from here, so she wanted to hit that for we headed on home. So I said, yeah, that's fine. I wanted to show you guys this little lighter she got me from Timu. This thing is light. It doesn't even feel like there's a battery in there. I mean, it's lighter than a regular lighter huh speaking of which what's the difference between a hippo and a zippo one's heavy and one's a little lighter ah! but anyway this is pretty cool rechargeable it charges in like 10 minutes like your cigarette And hit the button again and it goes off on it just you don't actually it's not really like a button button that you click you just barely touch it I'm trying to do this backwards here there it goes you barely touch it like that this is pretty cool so and like I said, it's very light. It's it's probably about as light as a cigarette is. So anyway, quick review. I like it so far. <laughs> I don't know how much she gave for anything. Um, she's going to show it on her Timu thing. She's going to be doing here very soon. So uh, I, I guess I got a package coming today. And I didn't order anything else. I just ordered those two things for the for the golf cart but I got an email today saying my package was out for delivery from UPS and I don't know what it is and I didn't order anything else I got two items at the house um, I need to review and get them taken care of uh, that was sent to me so one of them I can I can really use I think we'll just have to see so all right guys um, I'll be back with you we're gonna head out of here here shortly and uh, I can send them a message and let them know you know when we check out and then huh and uh, then we'll head on out I'll kick you back on when we get to our next little adventure. <laughs> Hang tight, guys. Shrimp Company. Oh, they got well, I've seen boobies, but Bubba Gump. Remember Forrest Gump? Yeah. Bubba Gump Shrimp. That's a Bubba Gump Shrimp Factory. Awesome. No toll yet. No. Monkey said before we left the house the other day. She had to get cash. I said, why? She said, toll roads. I said, we're not going to hit any tolls. 
Yes, we are. I'm getting cash. How many tolls have we hit so far? None. Zero. All right, we gotta find a parking place. All right, we're gonna go find a place to park, and then I'll kick you guys. John's Pass Trading Company. This I can go. This. Maybe way. I can go trade my camera in for like another camera. Mm-hmm. Why would you do that? It's a joke, Ma. Oh. <laughs> it's like right it's Get like selling back. your car to buy gas money. It don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Board work. Stop, Bruno. Bruno, what the What's he know? He always knows when we're somewhere. <laughs> when we get within a mile where we're going, he knows it. Oh. He knows it before we do. It's awful. John's Pass Grill. Look at that little lighthouse. The seafood restaurant, Family Fisherman. That's a parking garage there. Let's go somewhere else. Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. I think there's parking down. Oh, look at that car. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> what they call it. The, I think they called them the thing or something like that. The thing? Yeah, my uncle's got one all restored. The thing. You guys didn't yeah, see it. I remember it. the thing. Wasn't it a Volkswagen thing? Yeah, yeah, Volkswagen thing, yeah. Yeah, my uncle's got one all restored. He's had a couple of them. All right, I'll kick you guys back on as soon as we find a toll road. Check this out, this is awesome. That's why they ring that bell over in St. Pete. And here's the dates and the names of those that were lost at sea. It actually goes clear to 2009. And it starts in 1933. Beautiful. And we got old Glory waving up there. Really cool. Hi, matey. Yes. The Royal Conquest. What? The Royal Conquest. Isn't that cool? That's really neat. Really cool. That's neat. They get ready to go out and get their stuff together. Take people out and get them paid for it. Hey, there's Captain Ron over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Remember that movie? No. You don't no. remember Captain Ron? No. Oh. <laughs> well, I can tell you remember all these movies. I don't remember them. Oh, I know. I have seen that. What movie? Hold up now. There's a bar on there. Yep. And bar. I could drink some rum. Okay, guys. Okay, we're gonna move on. There's the bridge we came over. It might be too hot for a They kill her. You don't get him excited. He might jump off or laugh. I think I'd like to try this tropical buffet because that's right, beer, wine, and rum punch. What I had last night on the beach, remember? Isn't that cool? A boat restaurant. Neato. Okay, so I thought it was worth mentioning. This bridge, though it has been rebuilt, this is the bridge from John Candy's summer rental 
They came across this way, we're on the other side. Usually people film it from that way. But this is the bridge they crossed when they came into town. Oh God, find Florida. Well, now all you have to do is find Citrus Cove. And from the other side, you can see those buildings right there that are still there. So, little, I was going to do the um, filming locations while we were here, but that'll have to be another time. But, um, you know, just really two days because you check in at three and check out at 11. So we really only had one whole day and I wanted to make them something nice. We got a gentleman over there playing his guitar. underneath the bridge but this is the bridge that John Candy went over went over this is called John's Pass um, I don't think I think that's just a coincidence but yes yeah, this 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 bridge has been rebuilt though so I just thought I'd throw that fun fact in there also just want to mention these like I said from the movie it's filmed from the other side but you can still see those pieces there summer rental so that's pretty cool but those are still there in the original spot now here these buildings weren't here this is, these have been built. There was different buildings here. As well, but those two are the same. Those two, you can see the tops. Right? And there's Bubba Gump. Shrimp Company. You guys remember Forrest Gump. Bubba Gump Shrimp. It's a household name. Hold on there, boy. Are you telling me you're the owner of the Bubba Gump Shrimp Corporation? Yes, sir. We got more money than David Crockett. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, that name, Bubba Gump. So I just had to share this with you. This is a sign under the bridge. No trespassing. Sunset to sunrise. Except fishermen. So I thought this was cool. Scullies. Remember the restaurant from the movie? No. Scully's Catch of the Day. Now, this is not it, of course. I just thought it was pretty cool that there's a Scully's restaurant here. So I thought this was cool. I'd share it with you. It's a Dolphin Excitement Cruise. Get cold drinks available, sightseeing, cushion seats, bathroom on board that thing. There it is. And it goes with the dolphins. Jumping dolphins, two and under free. Ask about birthday parties, pirate cruises, or private cruises, and corporate events and special events. And there's this dorsal fin on the back. Pretty cool, the tiki floating tiki bar. I'd like to have that motor on our little boat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. They'll take you out, and you can go out there, float around, and drink. Hopefully, not the captain. The big Woody. You can't beat her meat. Then the fat chick. Who can beat your meat? <laughs> 
So we got the bridge up. To let that little sailboat through. That's cool. Floor, boom. Yeah. Waiting on the 69 Dodge Charger to jump that thing. Generally, there it goes, it's going down. I'll show you where we're, we're having lunch at. This guy's awesome. He made me a sangria that is out of this world. It'll knock your socks off, man. Okay, I gotta cut this short because of copyrighted music, but maybe I can put something over it, some music over it. I was wanted to go up when we was down there on that end and get a closer shot for you. Because they blew the horn and the gates went down and the lights were flashing, but the bridge never went up. So. Drawbridges are cool. That's awesome. This is where we're at. The Paradise Cafe. This guy is awesome. He gets a five star for me. That's my sangria. He said he'll make it so it's not as girly. Yeah. He said that way it won't be so chick like. Right. And I said, all right, I'll try it. Mom's got her chick flick. That's a man drink. Chick flick? Yeah, chick flick drink. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Here's her drink. You see the difference? Yeah, her slider. <laughs> yeah. No, I've drank this, more. This drink right here. I'm getting the pelican. He go piss it. They're loaded and rolling out. They just got done stocking this one. So I got some bad news about this place, I'll tell you here in a minute. But they're already moving coolers out, if that gives you a hint of what's gonna be going on here. So, Gabriel, his name's Gabriel, he told us they're going to be knocking this place down and that place down right next to it because rich investors well they're not even really investors they're going to be knocking these two places down and they're going to use this place here and they're going to put it in some kind of big shindig he's not sure what they're going to do so just goes to show you you know it's not even corporate just three Rich people went together and they won't tell him when. They, it's just month to month right now is all he's got for this place. He's been here three years. So this place and the one next door is going to be going to shut it down. He said, well, this ain't good news because they're already moving these coolers out. Oh, man. I'm sorry, guys, but I hate to see it. You know, this is... This is iconic, you know? Pretty soon it's gonna look like that over there, you know? I mean, you take something like this and, you know, ruin it. I feel so bad for the guy. I'll be back with
Okay guys, so we are back home. And uh, yeah, I just turned the camera on cars. I don't miss that. Um, but we were three-fourths of the way home and I was burning up. I'm like, man, I know it's, it's not that hot. Air conditioner not working in the car, I gotta fix it. But I was like, man, somehow I bumped the seat heater and I had the heated seat turned on, so. Uh, yeah, so. Anyway, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I was going to get some drone footage, but totally forgot. So anyway, a couple of these those clips you saw, I had to I had to turn down because of copyrighted stuff, uh, music. Uh, a couple times I was playing music, but it's okay. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. So this is day three, returning home. Had a great time, man. Been an awesome three days. And what's even more awesome than that is you, the viewers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. With that being said, Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. Well, for now, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself. Be safe. See you soon.